You are welcome, sir. Everybody praise the Lord. You remember this? The crusade for Jesus, the miracle worker. Your time has come. My time has come. Look at that word, miracle. M I tell me. R tell me A. Give me C. Give me L. Final E. We've dealt with M. It's the miracle of mercy has come your way. We've dealt with I, that impartial intercession, interceding and pleading and praying and working for every individual. Today, we come to R. That's Jesus, the reigning redeemer for the repentant and the righteous. Tonight, it'll work miracle in your life. Yeah. Father, we thank you at this time. We bless your name. What a great and mighty God you are. And your son, you have said that he will redeem us. He will turn our lives around. And he will bring resurrection power in every life. Today we come expecting you will reign in every life in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus reign. In our hearts reign. Over our problems reign. Over sickness reign. Over satanic attack and affliction reign in every life in Jesus' name. And Lord, bring everyone up that we will reign with Christ even here on earth in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you. You can see now. Tonight, we're coming to Jesus again, the reigning redeemer. That means the redeemer who reigns. He reigns over every problem. He reigns over principalities and power. He reigns over the pain and the peculiarities of your life. The Lord will manifest himself unto you tonight. And he will reign in every part of your life in Jesus' name. Jesus, the, right, the reigning redeemer. For the repentance that is for those who come out of darkness and come to the light because he is the light of the world. Those who will come out of their sin and come to the Savior is the Savior of the whole world. Behold the lamp of God that takes away the sin of the world and he will reign over the people that leave all the pollutions of the world all the defilement of the world and they come to him as a deliverer he reigns over the repentant and he reigns over the righteous the people who allow Christ to walk in them to walk in their heart to walk in their lives and they become righteous through his right righteousness and through his sacrifice he reigns over them is Jesus the reigning redeemer for the repentant and the righteous look at Luke chapter 1 in Luke chapter 1 reading from verse 31 and behold thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus look at verse 32 that Jesus it shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest and the Lord God shall give him unto him the throne of his father David verse 33 it tells us and he 
shall reign jesus and he shall reign son of god and he shall reign the son of david and he shall reign the one that went to the cross and he died for us he was buried and on the third day he rose again he shall reign the angel declared that he shall reign over the house of jacob for forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end that kingdom will be established in your hearts today because christ will reign reign in your heart reign over in your home and reign in your habitation and the lord reigns without a rival in the heart in the mind in the life of the people that receive him the repentant and the righteous we're looking at three things in a message tonight number one we're looking at the restoration the restoration here is the redeemer the redeemer that comes and it comes so that you will be restored the restoration by the revealed redeemer many people do not know that the redeemer has come but the scriptures reveal him to us the father reveals him to us and the word of god reveals him to us the restoration by the revealed redeemer number two is the rain the rain from the reviving redeemer he revives us he makes us come alive he drives away the spirit of death out of our lives because he comes and he brings the rain that comes from heaven the rain that comes from on high the rain that comes from the redeemer who revives us number three is the return of the reigning redeemer he returns he reigns now over every heart yielded unto him he reigns now over everyone that will voluntarily say i surrender i submit i give myself unto you and he reigns over them he reigns over families that will be given unto the lord he reigns over fellowships that are given unto the lord he reigns over the community that will come as a whole community and they surrender themselves unto the lord but then he returns he's coming again he came the first time to make a sacrifice it came the first time to share this blood for the people that will recognize him as savior as lord and now is coming again and when he comes again it will not only reign in individuals it will not only reign in small pockets of people everywhere in the world he comes and he reigns over every part of the world the reigning redeemer is returning and i pray that today as he comes as he lives as he abides in you i pray he will reign over every challenge in your life in jesus name amen number one is the restoration by the revealed redeemer the restoration by the revealed redeemer you are wondering is that for me yes he restores the prodigal son the one who has gone away the one who has strayed away christ is here today and it brings restoration to you at the prodigal son the prodigal sinner the prodigal father the prodigal mother the prodigal child the prodigal daughter 
he comes and he brings restoration he comes to give restoration if you you knew the lord before but then you have strayed away you have gone away he comes for restoration to restore the prodigal son he comes to restore the polluted the polluted slave you see there are people when they go astray they surrender themselves to the pollutions of the world the character of the world the lifestyle of the world the worldliness in the world and that pollutes them it pollutes their heart it pollutes their mind it pollutes their nature and christ has come today he'll bring restoration unto you in jesus name he comes i said to bring restoration to the prodigal son it comes to bring restoration to the polluted slave and now he comes to bring restoration to the perverted soul you see all the things in the world the habits of the world the lifestyle of the world they pervert the soul and today and you cannot restore yourself you cannot say i'll pull myself up by the straps of my shoe you can't do that but there is a redeemer that comes from heaven and is revealed unto us by the word of the father he says this is my son in whom i am well pleased listen to him there'll be restoration in your life restoration in every life tonight in jesus name we're looking at psalm 51 and we're looking at verse 6 behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom look at verse 7 in verse 7 it says purge me with his soap and i shall be clean here it's David praying, a prodigal king. He was king, but he became prodigal. He became polluted. He became perverted. And he knew he could not restore himself. It takes the Redeemer from heaven. It takes the Lord. It takes the King of kings and the Lord of lords to, re to restore this prodigal man, this polluted man, and this perverted man. And so he prayed. He said, me and the one in need of restoration you you are the one in need of restoration it will restore you tonight as you come as David came pollution and you see your perversion and you see you're going astray and you come and you say Lord here am I I want restoration purge me with Esau and I shall be clean wash me and I shall be whiter than snow tonight is that night it will cleanse you on the inside it will cleanse the language of your mouth it will cleanse the thoughts of your heart it will cleanse your perversion personality and all those things that make you prodigal unprofitable you wash everything away you will become totally new today you will be as white as snow you become whiter than snow somebody shout amen look at verse 8 in verse 8 make me to hear joy and gladness the sinner has no joy permanent joy the drunkard has no joy permanent joy the hypocrite has no joy 
permanent joy and the secret sinner has no joy permanent joy but when you come to christ when you come to the redeemer it's revealed to you tonight and you say lord i need joy make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice the bone the heart the conscience the inner life of the sinner has no joy it's broken broken heart broken man broken personality the remembrance of his sin the remembrance of his evil gives him consternation and gives him condemnation but there's a redeemer the redeemer from heaon revealed unto us he will take all those broken bones and mend them tonight in jesus name in verse 9 verse 9 says hide thy face from my sins he said i know you've been looking at my sin he looks at our sin at the evil we have done at the corruption in our lives at the pollution and perversion in our lives and he shakes his said he says i cannot fellowship with him i cannot be with him i cannot answer his prayer if i regard iniquity transgression sin in my heart the lord will not hear me and he says so lord why don't you forgive me why don't you cleanse me and why don't you take all the appearance and the presence sense of my sin why don't you take it away and hide your face from my sins and blot out blot out blot out all my inner transgression and there are people that do not understand that even in the old testament the lord blotted out all the iniquities of the people that repent they think he only covered them and when he covered them if anything happens the wind will blow the covering i will know from old old testament until now he makes provision that he blots out all our iniquities look at verse 10 in verse 10 create in me a clean heart and that this prodigal king this perverted king and this man that had gone astray and doubled into sin his heart had been polluted his heart had been perverted he said lord i need a clean heart the thoughts are not clean the ways were not clean the actions were not clean now creating me a clean heart oh god only god can do that and he will do it for you tonight it will take your heart turn your heart around and it will cleanse your heart and all that evil evil thought evil mind evil ways the lord will cast everything away it will cleanse you it will blot out all those iniquities and then create in you a clean heart actually that's the evidence of salvation you know somebody says i'm saved and their heart is not clean somebody says i'm saved and the life is not clean somebody says i'm saved i am born again and his language is not clean somebody says i am born again i'm a child of god and his appearance is not clean his appearance her appearance makes people to think about sin but when we're saved when we're born again when the redeemer when he touches our lives and transforms our lives he creates in us a, a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me look at verse 11 in verse 11 cast me not away from thy presence king david why are you praying like that what he says i know what i've done the man committed adultery 
and those who have sinned against me them will i blot out of my book which i have written in you that god at the right god at the decision to cast him away because of his adultery he even committed murder he knew that what he had done merited the judgment of god and we pray here on earth so that we will not meet that judgment when we have left here he said cast me not away from thy presence and it says take not thy holy spirit from me you understand my spirit shall not always strive with men he speaks to our conscience he speaks to our life he prevents evil from our character but when we continue in that evil he leaves us alone we're empty he leaves us alone we only have the human heart and then we have the bad evil spirit of the devil when the holy ghost is gone no place will be vacant something must fill that place and if the holy spirit does not fill that place then if the harassing spirit the evil spirit that will take the place because your heart cannot be vacant and so he said give me your holy spirit let the holy spirit abide with me so that my life will be straightened out again tonight you have come it will straighten out your life tonight in out your life tonight you have come it will make the holy spirit to bear witness with your heart forgiven set free cleansed having a clean heart a new thing will happen in your heart today in jesus name look at verse 12 verse 12 said restore unto me restore unto me is the redeemer revealed from heaven that comes to, re to restore unto us restore unto me the joy of thy salvation salvation has joy salvation has peace salvation has sincerity and salvation has happiness and gladness when you are saved it takes the sorrow away it takes the sadness away and all the evil that your sin has attracted in your life he forgives he sets you free and then he gives you restoration restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy holy spirit and with thy free spirit is coming tonight to who is coming to you it will be done in jesus name how does it happen what happens to the prodigal son what happens to the polluted slave what happens to the perverted so that there will be a restoration of salvation of joy of peace of righteousness look at isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 come now you see you have to come the prodigal son said i will arise and i will go to my father and i will say my father i blew it and i'm not worthy to be called your son make me one of your hired servant you must have the decision i will arise and go to the father and go to the lord with all your pollution with all your perversion and with all your prodigality you come and whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved tonight salvation has come 
Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Amen. Amen. Now you see that uh, say you see that verse there, scarlet, that is red. And then it even says crimson, red like crimson. Before you come to the Lord, before you come for the salvation, red, danger, the danger of damnation, red, the danger of eternal perdition, red is the danger that you face because you're seen as red. As crimson look at the difference some people say I am saved I'm born again but we cannot see any difference the difference between the new life and the old life is the difference between white and red you cannot mistake it when you come to the Lord he washes you as white as snow even whiter than snow and you cannot mistake that look at that that's white look at this this is red and they are very different the difference between the sinner and the saint the difference between the prodigal son and the pardoned son is the difference between red and white and it will be very very clear that God has done something something in your heart something in your soul something in your life that nobody can mistake and it will happen today Amen. amen give me alpha location amen. amen and all those all over the globe here is the difference between the sinner and the son of God here is the difference between the prodigal and the pardon the difference between the red and the white look at verse 19 in verse 19 if you be willing and obedient he said come if you're willing to come if you're obedient as you come if you lay your sin at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ the revealed redeemer if you be willing and obedient ye shall eat the good of the land what if is not willing what if the prodigal son said i don't want to face the shame of my going away i don't want to face the shame of my pollution i don't i can't face the shame of my perdition what if the prodigal son had remained in the far country he will die there and he will not be in fellowship with the father for the rest of eternity that's why he tells us in verse 20 in verse 20 it says but if you refuse and rebel if you refuse to repent if you refuse to come back from the wilderness of sin if you refuse the voice that is calling and pleading with you that today there is salvation today there is restoration if you refuse and rebel now understand those two words and uh, you know they are together they are partners together anybody who refuses the voice of the Savior is rebelling against the Savior. Anybody who refuses the voice of repentance that we should repent and come to the Lord, the refuser is a rebel. And it says, But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devout with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. You will not refuse forgiveness. 
you will not refuse salvation you will not refuse the grace of God that comes to you tonight and he says come come out of darkness come out of sin come out of idolatry and come out of those evil things you have been doing and come to the Lord the Redeemer restoration has come for you in Jesus name restoration for me you didn't see it well be it confirmed from heaven in Jesus name Jeremiah chapter 30 I'm reading from verse 17 Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 for I will restore health unto thee the Lord will also restore your health sickness will vanish away all the pains will be totally gone as you come and you receive the Redeemer for I will restore health unto thee I will heal thee of thy wounds you lost a great amen there says the Lord because they called thee an outcast saying this is Zion whom no man seeketh after look at verse 19 in verse 19 and out of them shall proceed shall proceed thanksgiving you give testimony tonight and the voice of them that make merry merriment and joy will come to the prodigal son that re that returns home in jesus name and i will multiply them multiplication in your life multiplication of blessing multiplication of joy multiplication of all your desires being fulfilled and they shall not be few I will also glorify them and they shall not be small heaven needs a great amen number one is the restoration by the revealed redeemer we're coming to number two number two is the rain from heaven from the reviving redeemer the, the redeemer revives the one who's totally collapsed helpless hopeless dead no life but the redeemer he is the one he comes to revive revival has come in your soul revival in your spirit revival in your life the rain from the reviving redeemer look at isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 it says for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither but watereth the earth and maketh it to bring forth and birch it says that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater you can tell something great is coming to you today it's coming from heaven as the rain comes from heaven for the people that stay under that coming rain and that rain that is coming upon the lives of the people look at verse 11 it says so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth my word what word is that the word of his grace that comes from heaven what word is that the word of salvation that comes from heaven it says that what comes and is the word of his grace is the word of his salvation what's that what's the word is the word of promise he promises us and he looks at all the promises and he says just like the rain comes down so the word of my promise coming down and the promise to 
save you. They promise to heal you. They promise to restore you. They promise to turn your life around for the better. That promise will be fulfilled tonight. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. The word of healing. The word of deliverance. The Lord says it will come forth. And once it comes to you and you hear, it will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. The word of uprightness. You know you've been wobbling and you couldn't walk straight. You couldn't walk right. You couldn't talk right. You couldn't behave well. And then the word of his uprightness comes to you. And it says that word will not leave you to remain the way you were in the past. A new change will come in your life. Transformation will come in your life. You come here if you actually receive the word, accept the word, believe the word, confess the word, and you say that word was mine. The Lord spoke that word, he spoke the word to me, and I accept that, I believe that, I confess that, I hold on to that, it will be fulfilled in your life. The word of salvation fulfilled in your life. The word of healing fulfilled in your life. The word of deliverance fulfilled in your life. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Look at us here. Chapter 10, verse 12. Rain. The rain is coming. I said, The rain is coming. Showers. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Don't go. Don't go. It will come upon you right there. Showers rain the rain of righteousness look at it so to yourselves in righteousness why did he say that they had been sowing to themselves on righteousness they have been sowing to themselves on godliness they have been sowing to themselves on truthfulness they have been not been walking in the truth and the truth is falling on the street and it says now turn around let there be a change what you were doing yesterday was sowing in unrighteousness what you were doing before this time is sowing in ungodliness what you were doing is sowing in hypocrisy and untruthfulness he says now let the repentance and come to the lord and so to yourselves in righteousness and then you reap in mercy break up your fallow ground sometimes the heart the ground where the word is coming in is hardened because many feet have gone over that ground many thoughts have gone over that heart and now you hear the word it bounces back it doesn't penetrate it says break up cultivate that fallow ground for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and reign look at that till he comes and reign righteousness upon you it will rain righteousness upon you and when that rain comes the rain of righteousness it will soak you on the outside you know if you've been in the rain and you come anybody looking at you will see that effect of the rain on you you'll be refreshed 
you have been revived you have been renewed you have been clean the rain of righteousness coming from heaven coming upon you will be visibly seen by the people that look at you that see you the reign of righteousness says seek the lord until he comes to reign righteousness upon you somebody says i'm saved and the lord the righteous lord delivered me and you look at him you can't see any change the same old dressing the same old character the same old behavior the same old drunkenness the same old cigarette and the same old bad company and i say did you say you went to the lord did you say you sowed in righteousness i still see the way you sow you still sow in unrighteousness you still so in ungodliness you still so in untruthfulness you still so in hypocrisy now when we come to the lord and you are coming to the lord tonight i said you are coming to the lord tonight we seek the lord until he comes to reign righteousness upon us he will do it I said you will do it. How will he do it? Zechariah chapter 10 verse 1. Zechariah chapter 10. We're looking at verse 1. It says, Ask ye of the Lord reign in the time of the latter. We must ask. We ask for salvation at this time in the crusade while the lord is saving many people we don't just sit down there and we don't just shut our mouth and shut our eyes and shut our mind ask ye of the lord reign in the time of the latter rain in the time of the latter rain in the time of salvation in the time of healing in the time of deliverance and he says ask for your own portion nobody will take your portion from you you will ask ask of the lord reign in the time of the latter rain so the lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain you ask and the lord makes it and the lord gives you showers of rain to everyone 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 grass in the field everyone that says i'm asking and i believe the lord is going to grant when you ask for forgiveness tonight the lord will grant your forgiveness when you ask for cleansing tonight the lord will grant you cleansing when you ask for conversion tonight a change of heart a change of life a change of mind a change of direction when you ask for that conversion tonight that's exactly what god will give you tonight he will give you where is he where is she you will not go back home empty-handed i will not be a spectator papa did you get anything there i heard you went for the crusade ah young man i just want to see what is happening there you will not just see what is happening there it will happen to you rain in the time of the latter rain ask and he will give them showers of rain and to everyone grass in the field your time has come miracle of salvation miracle of transformation miracle of healing miracle of deliverance that will happen to you tonight number three now we're looking at number three number three the return of the reigning redeemer the return of the reigning redeemer now when the redeemer returns 
number one he can come to you now he will come to you now and there is he will reign over the heathen it says ask of me in psalm 2 verse 8 ask of me and i will give you the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession the heathen he reigns over the heathen you have been a heathen a pagan in idolatry sacrificing to the devil sacrificing to you know the great great uh, great fathers and doing what the bible calls idolatry that's heathenism that's paganism and when you give your heart to the lord idolatry will vanish away you come out of that idolatry and you confess really i am a heathen but i invite christ to reign and to rule in my life number one he rules over the heathen number two he rules in our hearts he says behold i stand at the door and knock if anyone hears my voice i will come into him i'll sup with him and fellowship with him and then he will sit on the throne of your heart and from that throne of your heart he will reign number one he reigns over the heathen number two he reigns in the heart my son give me thine heart surrender your heart unto me that's what we do if we're going to have the reigning of the redeemer in our heart we must surrender that heart unto him reigning over the heathen reigning in our heart he reigns in your habitation in your habitation and when you get back home that's your habitation if there's any idol there you rake them together and burn them up because now christ comes to reign in your habitation if there's any talisman there if there's any waistband there if there is any juju kind of a ring there he comes to reign over the heathen he comes to reign in your heart he comes to reign in your home in your habitation and you gather all those things together you throw them away and you give jesus the chance to reign without a rival there is no other rival now christ becomes the all in all in your life you let him reign without any sign of rebellion there's no rival no rivalry and there is no rebellion you say master jesus reign in my heart reign in my home reign in my habitation reign in everything that i do master jesus reigning redeemer reign and when he comes he will know the people in whose hearts he had been reigning and when he returns and when the rapture will take place you will go up to heaven in jesus name but if you say uh -uh, i will not allow him to reign in my heart my heathenism my idolatry will continue i just went to crusade i just went to see all the things they were doing there but it will not reign over my heathenism well it will not reign in my heart and your heart remains the throne of satan the throne of sin and the throne of self-will and you live after this crusade in rebellion against the lord when he comes he's not coming for rebels he's not coming for those who have rivals in their heart he'll be coming for the people that already he was reigning in their heart and they have surrendered they have submitted their heart 
their life, every sin unto him to reign. Thank God, then you will get to heaven. I will get to heaven because I accept him to reign in my heart, to reign in my home, to reign in my habitation, to reign over my habits. I do not retain any kind of habit that Christ is not in control. Christ comes to reign over all the habits of your life. When you are going to do anything after you claim to be saved, when you are going to go any direction after you claim to have given your life to the Lord, you want to ask your king. You want to ask the reigning Lord of your life. Should I go there? Should I do that? Should I say that? Should I join him? Should I marry her? Should I marry him? He now is in total control. Those are the people. When he comes, he'll take them home. We're looking at Malachi chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 7. Malachi chapter 3. It says in verse 7, even from the days of your fathers ye are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them return unto me the lord is pleading return unto me and i will return unto you some people say it doesn't matter whether i return or not to the lord he will bless me you don't know the scripture it says return unto me and i will return unto you says the lord of hosts look at verse 12 in verse 12 and all the nations shall call you blessed the lord will bless you he will bless your going out he'll bless your coming in he'll bless your traveling he will bless your staying where you are he'll bless the work of your hand he'll bless the plan of your life he will bless your family and he will bless you in every way he says if you will return unto him he will return unto you and all nations shall call you blessed for ye shall be a delightsome land says the Lord of hosts Amen, Amen. This is your day Amen. This is my day I return unto the Lord and as you return unto the Lord he also returns unto Jeremiah chapter 24 and I'm reading from verse 7, Jeremiah chapter 24. We're reading from verse 7. It says, And I will give them an heart to know me. When you return, he'll touch your heart, he'll transform your heart, he'll change your heart. And I will give them an heart to know me that I am the Lord. I am the supreme. I am the king of kings. I am the lord of lords. I am their lord. And I sit now in the place of rulership in their life. When you give your heart to the Lord, that's what happens. I will give them and heart to know me that I am the Lord and they shall be my people shall be my people shall be my people and anywhere you go satan when he sees you say, okay that's one of them i cannot touch you he cannot touch you and all those evil powers they will recognize that is a peculiar child of god I cannot touch her they will not touch you because you give your heart unto him and because you allow him to reign without a rival in your heart and 
in your life and he says i will be their god when they're sick i will be their god when they're tormented i'll be their god when they're oppressed i'll be their god when they have any challenge i will be their god even before they open their mouth to ask me i will answer their prayer and then it says for they shall return they shall return they shall return unto me with their whole heart and as you return to the lord with your whole heart tonight blessings upon blessings will come from heaven and come upon your life in jesus name it's bowed and eyes closed here is that moment when you allow the lord to receive you here is the moment when you allow the lord to fully completely return unto you as you return unto him and when he comes to you tonight he forgives your sin he cleanses your heart he gives you salvation and total forgiveness and he sets you free from the sin that held you back in the past heads bowed eyes closed you're coming to the lord with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind you're not rebelling against the commandments of the lord you're being a heathen you return to the lord and you don't bring your idolatry and your evangelism with you you're being the prodigal son and you don't bring the swine's husks that you are having in the far country along with you you have been a polluted slave a slave of sin a slave of corruption but you don't bring the pollution you say lord i quit lord i repent lord i return the lord is waiting for you he will receive you tonight i said he will receive you tonight you are returning you are repenting you are coming to the lord anywhere you are raise up that hand anywhere you are you are here at the alpha location you are there online you're listening over the radio you're listening over the television and the spirit of god is saying you are the man you're the woman return unto the lord and get rich of all those evil pollutions and perversions return wherever you are where are you raise up that hand god bless you god bless you there god bless you there raise up the hand i return i return i return from all my sin from all my waywardness from all my self-will from all my transgression I return unto the Lord. God bless you. Raise up the hand. Raise up the hand. The Lord wants to forgive you now. The Lord wants to save you now. The Lord wants to cleanse you now. And He wants to bring all types of blessings upon your life. As you are raising up your hand, please stand up you're raising up your hand god bless you god bless you god bless you there god bless you there anywhere you are to my right in front and then at the left and far away there in the various uh, language section wherever you are raise up that hand and stand up as you're standing up you're telling the lord i return i return i return i will no more go into all those heathen things evil things perverted things polluted character i return and then you believe now on the lord jesus christ he died for you to take away your sin he died for you so that it can come to your heart and rule and reign in your heart and in your life and it's only those people that allow christ the redeemer to reign in their hearts in this life 
that you'll go to heaven eventually that you'll come in the millennial reign and the reign with Christ the Redeemer keep the hand up I'm praying for you father in the name of Jesus I pray for everyone who has returned who has repented and they give their hearts unreservedly unto the Lord tonight forgive them in Jesus name I pray Lord you create a new heart a new life in them even tonight in Jesus name give them the joy of salvation give them the peace in salvation give them the victory in salvation that now the spirit of the lord will bear witness in their heart they are now children of god children of god no more children of satan children of god no more worshipers of idols children of god confirm each in every heart every life right now in jesus name thank you lord because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray amen that reaches heaven the Lord has done it. We call on our moderating uh, overseer to help us in this time of counseling. And then, by the grace of God, I'll come back. Tonight is a night of miracle for everyone. Amen. Congratulations. Please make sure you stand up. Our counselors are there. They want to take your details so that we can keep on helping you. Give them correct information. When we pray for you, the answer will locate you where you are. Give the correct address. Your blessing will not miss your address. Give your correct name, correct number. Congratulations. Your names are being written in heaven now. Angels are rejoicing because of you. Heaven is rejoicing because of you. Congratulations. Our counselors, please let's get to everywhere. We will have some almost by the roadside there. Let's make sure we designate some to be there. Let's make sure we reach everyone. Congratulations. Welcome. There is a celebration in heaven on your behalf now. Angels are rejoicing and welcoming you to God's kingdom. Your experience will be permanent in Jesus' name. Make sure you wait. And make sure your details are taken. Those of us online, there's a link that is displayed. Please ensure, complete it and forward it. Also, those of us watching on television, the same link is there as well. Those of us on radio, the number is being dictated to us right there on the radio. Please complete and send to the WhatsApp number to us. Tonight is a great night. I said tonight is a great night. Begin to tell the Lord now. You will see what you have never seen before. There's a singular prayer you want to pray as you are bowing your heads now. While we are attending to those people. 
those who have given their lives to the Lord. He will tell the Lord. Jesus said, the hour has come, Father, glorify thy son. That's the singular prayer you pray. Oh Lord, glorify Jesus in my life tonight. Let Jesus be glorified over my situation tonight. Father, glorify thy son. Lord, glorify Jesus in my life. I will stand up to glorify Christ when God has glorified him in your life. Pray like that. And as you pray like that, the Lord will glorify Jesus in your life tonight. The Lord will glorify Jesus over your problem tonight. The Lord will glorify Jesus over your circumstance tonight. Whatever problem you have tonight, Jesus will be glorified over them in Jesus' name. Make sure you wait, you will give testimony, and you will hear testimony tonight. Blessings will follow into your life in Jesus' name. Please our counselors. After you are finished counseling, you will stay with the people and locate where they are. Because tonight, Jesus will be glorified in this assembly. Jesus will be glorified in this assembly. And our testimony will glorify him. Tonight, Somebody say, tonight is my night. Jesus will be glorified over my problem. Say amen to that which you are expecting it. Cancel us. Please stay with the people. Don't come back to your seat. Stay. Locate where the people are. For the Son of God will be glorified tonight. Jesus will be glorified tonight. Christ will be glorified tonight. And we will rise up to testify to glorify him. Please, our counselors, let's do a thorough work and ensure, ensure that all the details are correct so that we can help you supply them with correct information so that we can help you further. And let's remember all those of us who are giving our lives to the Lord on Thursday, on Friday, and today there is a special luncheon prepared for you tomorrow by 3 p.m. In a hall in this compound, in this uh, school compound, be there, and the uh, materials will be given to you that will help you in your Christian life. So be there tomorrow. And for our information, there is going to be global Sunday worship tomorrow, special worship tomorrow. By 7.45, let's make sure we are here. Tomorrow's service will be glorious. Give me an amen. amen. Please, our counselors, we are waiting for you. You raise up the flag if you are through. Let's keep on praying now. Oh, Lord, glorify Jesus in my life tonight. Father, glorify Jesus in my life tonight. Oh, Lord, over my problem, let Jesus be glorified. Over my circumstance, over my problem, over my situation, Father, glorify thy son. Lord, glorify Jesus tonight so that I can rise up to testify to it. And our Father in the Lord is coming to confirm that prayer in your life. Jesus 
will be glorified. Somebody say, tonight, tonight, Jesus will be glorified over my problem. Give it a resounding amen if you believe that. And heaven has said amen for you as well. I say heaven has said amen for you. Counselors, we are waiting for you. Please, let's um, don't come back to your seat. Make sure you stay with the people where they are. Spectacular miracles tonight. Testimony galore tonight. Pandemonium of joy. Jubilation tonight. Joy tonight. Miracles tonight for somebody there in Jesus' name. Jesus will be glorified. God bless you. You can see at the center, the counselor there, at the right hand side. All right. At the left hand side, if you are through, can we have it at the overflow over there? At the Yoruba section, Igede section. The hour has come. I said, The hour has come. God will glorify Jesus in your life tonight. Then you will come and testify to what God has done. Praise the Lord. There's going to be a restoration of your fullness of health tonight in Jesus' name. A reign of miracles. A reign of healing. A reign of deliverance. And the Lord will reign in your life. Sickness gone. Attacks gone. Afflictions gone. As they raise the miracle from heaven, showers of healing, deliverance, blessing upon your life. Identify where you have the problem and lay your hand upon the place you have the problem. And raise up the other hand. And at the final, amen, you check up that reign of revival, reign of miracle, of healing would have been deposited in your body right there. Believe it will be so. Accept it will be so. And you'll confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord over every area of your life. Keep up that hand. The healing is coming. The miracle is coming. Father, in Jesus' name. You cannot fail. You will not fail. Your power will not fail. I bring everyone before you, whatever their challenge. Touch them, transform them, heal them in Jesus' name. Lord, for every individual, as you have said, that we should ask for that rain, for those showers, for the healing, for the deliverance in the time of the latter rain. And then you said, you'll make it from heaven and you will touch everyone every grass in the field confirm your word in every life in jesus name any problem in the head lord i pray that problem vanish away right now in jesus name eyes that are blind i pray the hand of the lord miracle walking hand of the lord will touch those eyes now open your eyes and see in jesus name impediment in your speech deafness of your ear dumbness of your tongue i pray the lord touch you right now that your tongue will be loosed 
your ear will open lord perform that miracle of hearing and speaking now in jesus name i pray for those who have high blood pressure those who have sugar diabetes lord i pray you touch them heal them in jesus name swelling in your body fibroid come out in jesus name elephantiasis come out in jesus name any kind of swelling internal external the power of the lord comes upon you now you are healed in jesus name long-standing problem cancer that cancer you will not remain there i command the pain the swelling of cancer and the problem of cancer be healed in jesus name also you are healed in jesus name any demonic affliction something walking about in the body all those demons all those evil powers all those evil spirits i command come out in jesus name lord set your people free free in their body free in their spirit free in their soul free in their life and everything called sickness everything called affliction everything called oppression i command you get out of there in jesus name lord i pray you confirm your miracle power upon everyone right now here on the grounds there online there over the radio there over the television everywhere all over the world manifestation of miraculous healing confirm it to lord thank you lord in jesus name i pray amen amen i got it i got it check up yourself you see the miracle the healing the deliverance right there quietness 